So you're scrolling through the internet, looking up the Ukraine war or another interesting article that you want to read. <laughs> but you can't because there's a freaking paywall. So what can you do? Well, we are going to show you three hacks, not two, because sometimes I say two in this video. Don't know why, but three, 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 three. The first hack is this cool website. The first website is called 12ft.io. Just paste in your article and then remove the paywall so you can read the article. And it works because Google wants to index content for SEO and looking up things and new sites want this so they can attract consumers. So to Google, they send an unpaywalled version of the page so that you can read it. But the thing is, this site doesn't always work. For example, here's an article by the Wall Street Journal. I'm um, just gonna copy it, right? There's a paywall, I have to register, create an account, and then paste it in. Oh, it still doesn't work, right? The second hack is to get an iPhone and then pay for it. Just kidding. <laughs> the second hack is, so I'm on my iPhone and I'm using Safari browser and I found this New York Times article that I want to read, but there's a paywall here. So what you wanna do is before the page finishes loading, you want to click on the reader view, which is this button here, and you're gonna click show reader, right? But the page has already loaded, so we're gonna click on that before the page finishes loading so that we can read the article. You might have to refresh the page a couple of times to get the hang of it, but here we go. Go. Okay, and then you see reader available. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try again. Go. Show reader. Okay. So, oh, that didn't work either. Oh, uh, there we go. So I think that took four different times, but you have to time it kind of well, and then you can read the article. So since we timed it pretty well, you can read the entire article. So that's two different ways that you can go through the paywall on articles and read them for free. Okay, actually, there's three hacks. We're kind of getting to the last one. So let's say you're using Google Chrome or the Brave browser. This is what you do. So you're on New York Times and you want to read this article about abortion. And oh no, there's a paywall. So what you need to do on Google Chrome or Brave browser is go to this here, then click on settings. Then you want to go to privacy and security. And then you want to scroll down to site and shield setting or site settings on Google Chrome. Then you wanna scroll all the way down to JavaScript here. Then you wanna say, don't allow sites to use JavaScript. So what will happen is if you refresh the page, you can see the whole entire article. So that's a temporary solution. What you can do instead is if you wanna do this automatically, is go back to JavaScript and then go to this part here about not allowed to use JavaScript and add the site. So there's the site, push add. And so when you go back and turn on sites can use JavaScript because you should probably keep this on. It's important for many different websites to work. But now that you've added it to the not allow list here, you can go here, refresh the page. I can still see the article. And then this will work on all of the articles on New York Times. So that's pretty easy. And you want to make sure to just copy up to the .com part. You don't need to copy all of this extraneous information, just the overarching site. So newyorktimes.com, and then add that, and there you go. That's it. Easy? Easy peasy. You could also just pay for it. Um, not everyone can, but if you can, that would be great. You know, support the journalist. But if you can't and still want to get the article that you want to read, you can look for alternatives on Google to the article and see if there's any other free sources. But if you happen to be unable to, then you can use these two hacks in order to read the article for free and educate yourself. So there you have it. You may also get it through your college. If you're a college student, a lot of times the new subscriptions and services will be available to you for free just ask your library on how you can set that up but relatively easy process and supporting journalism is also good but these are the two hacks if you need to read an article and learn from it also this is a very nice side topic where a lot of the research that we do in terms of scientific research is paid by 
you know, the U.S. government and funded by U.S. taxpayers. And should we get access to that information for free because taxpayers are paying for it? There's this movement towards open access to give the people knowledge for free since we're kind of paying for it. But there's also the other side of, well, we need to pay for a lot of... But it's a complicated question. Regardless to say, I'm not going to get into it, but open access is important. But also, you kind of need to pay people to do things, and money is important too. Like, subscribe, comment below your thoughts, and hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching. This is Bailey Zong, that money guy. Have a nice day.